hey guys uh, welcome to the second video of rsce that is red hat certified engineer exam preparation and uh, i wanted to tell you that uh, if you follow this series of videos and uh, i guarantee you that you will score 90 to 95 percent of marks in rhel 7 rsce examination i guarantee you so watch this video again and again and practice it again and again i guarantee you that you will score good marks okay without wasting more time let's get started so uh, there will be a question of uh, link aggregation that is also known as teaming they will ask you to uh, configure your system one and system two which watches for link changes and select support for data transfer okay and uh, uh, the IPs will be given so in that case we will be using NMCLI command okay NMCLI connection we are making a team of interfaces okay so NMCLI connection add type team just to remember this I am telling you connection name okay that will be team zero interface name okay that will also be team zero then configure it okay config single inverted comma curly braces then we will write inside runner okay then curly bracket we will mention the name what name we will mention we will mention as active backup okay active backup is something when one interface is active another will be in a phase where it will not be active okay so in this case um, both the uh, 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 suppose we have eth1 and eth2 okay when eth1 goes down eth2 will work and, uh, and when eth2 goes down eth1 will work so this is called as active backup and this will be asked in your exam and close the curly braces okay and don't forget to close the single inverted comma okay see as you can see connection team 0 successfully added now we have to also configure IPv4 address as per question it will be mentioned in the question NMCLI connection modify we have to configure team 0 with IPv4 address okay so team 0 we will give the IPv4 address okay and which will be given in your exam and I will write it as 125 and the subnet value as 24 okay and uh, uh, I will suggest you to use tab key in case if you make any mistake the tab key will not work keep that in mind okay now this is also done so uh, we have uh, uh, made a team and also we have configured IPv4 address for that team okay now we have to we have a uh, two interface two interfaces uh, uh, we want to uh, run consecutively uh, if one goes down another should work and if another goes down the, uh, the other one should work so in that case what we will do nmcli connection add type okay this is we can call it as slave and the connection name we will give it as team 0 slave 1 okay and the interface name we will give it as uh, I have this interface okay in uh, your case it can be ETH1 or uh, uh, ETH1 ETH2 okay so master is team 0 this is done and now uh, just to uh, save your time okay don't uh, you don't have to type entire thing just uh, change it uh, carefully 
so yes what we will do is team slave 2 and we will change the name of the interface okay this is my two interfaces what I have here see after doing this NMCLI connection up team 0 okay and uh, to check we will write team DCTL team 0 state uh, uh, it is uh, not the output is not coming in a proper way just because my system is configured in that way I'll show you but you don't have to do this uh, my system is configured in a different way so I'll just see now uh, you when you will type this this will be the output that you will get on your system when you uh, successfully perform teaming okay this is a very easy question and you can score good out of it and uh, similarly you have to perform same command on system 2 as well okay and uh, same uh, similarly you have to follow and uh, afterwards you have to just write this and you will see that there are two links okay so this way we have completed our sixth question and now we will go to our seventh question that is SMTP configuration SMTP is nothing but simple mail transfer protocol and for that we will be using postfix okay on both system 1 and system 2 so let's see how we can do it first what we need to do is system ctl sorry first we will install the package postfix hyphen y the package is already installed okay so what we will do is system ctl enable postfix okay after enabling our next step is start postfix okay after doing this everything will be mentioned in your question paper you just need to follow step by step step by step firewall command permanent you need to add this service okay add the service of SMTP don't forget to reload after adding the service you need to reload firewall okay and uh, here I will tell you you need to remember uh, something that uh, I will tell you you need to go into the configuration uh, file Uh, you just need to remember uh, five uh, numericals that is first will be 99 99 is where you will give your see it is written as domain 99 is where you will give your domain okay and I have written everything over here so that it saves my time everything will be given in your question paper okay so I will just write my domain and the second numerical is 116 INET interfaces you need to uh, mention it as loopback only okay and uh, another one is 164 164 is your uh, destination uh, you don't have to give anything over here just remove any everything then 264 in that you have to give your network so I have given here my network in your question paper it will be given online question paper you just need to copy and paste no need to change this part you just need to change this part
okay now this is changed the other thing that is other numerical is 317 317 is relay host where you will right the relay host is nothing but where you are going to send the email don't forget that you have to write it in bracket only so that is station dot district dot example dot com save after doing this you need to restart the service okay and uh, when you restart you have to check by sending mail the subject line you can send it as test and i have a user already created so district dot example dot com the uh, name of that user and the domain on which we have to send okay uh mail hyphen s you have to write test clark enter just write hi clark then dot then you will come out of that now you have to check post q hyphen p the mail q is empty that means the mail has gone successfully to the system 2 okay so this way we have completed our seventh question so this is extremely easy guys you need to practice it again and again watch this video again and again and uh, do remember those uh, numericals that is 99 116 164 264 and 317 you need to uh, memorize those uh, digits uh, and uh, accordingly you need to change every each and everything will be given in the question paper i have given myself uh, i am am i am a red hat certified engineer i know that everything will be given in the question paper so no need to worry there will be a question uh, where you will be asked to uh, write a script uh, let's say uh, you will be asked uh, to write a script in root so what you will do